Hello Happy Divers, I'm glad you found us once again. In this tutorial we'll focus on enhancing the visual layout of your diveport page by adding basic background elements. Elements like lines, panels, text labels and rectangles not only improve the readability of your page but also the appearance. Let's get started. In this demonstration, you'll learn how to add basic background elements to a dive port page to organize your content and give it a unique and creative feel. The types of basic background elements you can add to a page include lines, panels, rectangles, and text. To add these elements to a page, you use a type of portlet called a background portlet. In this demonstration, we'll use five instances of a background portlet to improve the readability of a page. Let's say you're a beverage alcohol distributor and you have a dive port page that includes two data portlets. One shows your top 10 customers by sales volume and one shows the top 10 brands you sell. To identify the two types of data on this page and make them stand out better, We'll add one large blue rectangle, two smaller white rectangles, and two labels, one for each set of data. Let's start by adding the blue rectangle in the background. With the page open in dive port, we'll click Edit, click the chevron, and select Add a Portlet. Next, we'll double click Background. In the top dialog box, we'll select Rectangle. The first setting in this dialog box sets the color of the rectangle outline. We don't want an outline for our rectangle, so we'll set both rectangle color and rectangle fill color to the same color, a light blue. Using a standard copy and paste operation, we'll copy the RGBA values to the box for rectangle fill color. And finally, we'll change the shape of the corners from square to rounded by entering 10 for the corner radius setting. Our background portlet appears in the top left corner of the screen, so we have to move the portlet into place and resize it. Notice that the rectangle is now in front of our data, covering it completely. To move the rectangle behind the data, we need to move the background portlet to the bottom of the list of portlets, that is, make it the lowest layer on our page. The quickest way to do this is by right-clicking the portlet and selecting Move to Bottom. Let's click outside the background portlet so it's no longer selected and its effects are more visible. Next, we'll add two more rectangular background portlets to the page. We'll use the portlets to put a white rectangle behind each of the two sets of data inside our blue rectangle. We'll start by putting a white rectangle behind the top set of data. Again, we want the rectangle color and rectangle fill color to be the same color. This time, however, we want both elements to be white. We'll change the corner radius to 10 to match the corner radius of the blue rectangle. Now we'll drag the portlet into place and resize it. Notice that the portlet is on top of the data, blocking it from view, just as the blue rectangle blocked the data earlier. We can't use the Move to Bottom option we used last time, however, because that option would place the white rectangle behind the larger blue rectangle, keeping the white rectangle hidden. To move the white rectangle behind the data, but in front of the blue rectangle, we'll use the List Portlets command. The white rectangle background portlet is at the top of the list of portlets, as we can see from the dotted outline 
that appears around the rectangle when we hover over the top item. Our two data portlets are the portlets labeled Diver. We'll drag the entry for the white rectangle to the spot just below the two Diver portlets and just above the blue rectangle. Now let's copy the portlet and use the copy for the bottom rectangle. To make the copy, we'll right-click the portlet and select Copy from the context menu. Next, we'll right-click some white space and select Paste. By both dragging and using the arrow keys, we can move the rectangle into place at the bottom of the page. To move this second white rectangle behind the data, we'll again use the List Portlets command. And finally, to label our data, we'll add two text background portlets. Let's add a label for the data set at the top of the page first. We can specify many different attributes for the text, for example, text font and text color. But for now, we'll just enter the text itself, top 10 customers. Let's resize the portlet so it's easier to move it around, and then drag it to a spot above the top rectangle. Now let's copy the portlet and use the copy to label the bottom set of data. And finally, we'll save our changes. So that's how you add a background portlet to a page. You click Edit, click the chevron, select Add a Portlet, double-click Background, select the background type, change the default settings as necessary, click OK, and reposition the portlet and resize it if necessary. And that completes our session. With a few simple steps, we managed to make data interaction more intuitive and the page looks much, much better. If you have any questions about this process or any other customization options in Diveport, please leave a comment below. Thank you for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.